what's going on Lee Tribe and anyone else new to the channel. My name is Lisa and today I am going to be updating you all on my KDP Kindle Direct Publishing journey. You know, as I posted on Twitter back in January, I was talking about how we as content creators, especially content creators that talk about making money online, we tend to focus on the highlight reels instead of showing the full or the complete picture. So this is not just for you. This is for me as well to get in the habit of not just doing the highlight reel, but also share things that I struggle with as well. And so this video is going to touch on some things that I'm struggling with, with KDP that may impact my longevity and my sales down the line. So just going to be upfront about that. I'm also going to explain a little later. I don't want to get into it now because I might just go on a tangent and I know you guys want to get to the numbers, but someone asked, did, did I have that fast success or that quick success because I have a channel? And the answer to that is absolutely not. I never do anything on KDP, print on demand or anything in my name ever because it's just not worth it and actually can actually hurt your sales. And I'm going to explain that a little bit later, but let's get into the numbers. So the last video I did, it was recorded on February 14th, I think. And I had just had my first full month of January and I did 190. So February I did 260 and then March I did 220. 20 something. I'll put the numbers up there. And I'll also show you all what I've done for the last 30 days up until now. I'm recording this on April 12th. So I had a bit of a downturn. So I was going up January, February, and then March was a little down. And the reason was toward the end of March, very end of March, my ads just stopped converting. And the crazy thing is when I did my February video, I didn't have any reviews on any of my books. I actually got more reviews since the last video. Most of my books are averaging four and a half to five stars now. So they were selling better without the reviews, which is counterintuitive to what we're, we've always been taught. So not sure what's going on there. It could be the times that we're in, you know, the economy is, is going crazy right now. There's a war and gas prices. Also March and April tend to be lower months for me anyway. And it wasn't like it was a huge drop but it just seems like people aren't buying as much right now. So that could be it. But y'all, I don't know what's going on with these ads. And that's why I never did the video because I just didn't feel like I was ready. I keep having too many ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. And just when I think I figured out something, I didn't figure it out. But for the last couple of weeks, I haven't been spending hardly anything. I turned that sucker down. So those last, what, the last couple of weeks of sales you see, those are mostly organic sales. Whereas back in February, when I was showing you my stats, I would say about 35% of those sales were probably from ads, maybe 40%. Now it's been mostly just organic sales, which is good, but my ads just aren't working as well anymore. You know, I've done a lot of things online over the years and some things come easy to me but not PPC, pay-per-click has not come easy. It is a challenge. So if I have information to share, I'll share it. But y'all, it's been a challenge. So I'm really relying mostly on organic now. So in terms of how many books have I published since my last video, I have published four more books. So I have 16 in total now. And of my 16 that have been published, I believe 10 of them have sold at least once. And of the last four I've published since the last video, only one has sold three times all organic, just to give you an idea. Still doing the best with color, coloring books overall. Now I want to give you all a tip on, again, I know you guys needed help with finding ideas and keywords and niches. One trick, and I use this with print on demand all the time, where you might target a holiday, but the product ends up selling the rest of the year too, because it's also more evergreen. So let me give you an example. Let's say you discover national dessert week is in February. I don't know if there is such a thing or not, but I'm just giving this, using an example. And you go, hmm, it's early January and you're doing some searches and you want to see if dessert coloring books are selling. And you go, oh, look, they are selling. This one's got a 19K BSR. This one's got a 5K BSR. They're selling really well, right? So let me put out some books because they might sell even more when this dessert or national awareness or dessert week comes about. And so it might sell really well for that short time, but then even after that's over, it will still sell because there are people buying dessert products all throughout the year. 
So I do that a lot with print on demand. I'm trying to do that with KDP as well. Don't just focus on the obvious holidays like or the big holidays like St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Black History Month. There's also awareness weeks and smaller events that you can target. And yet those products will continually sell the rest of the year. And that's kind of what I've been trying to do with KDP. It has worked with some books. It has not worked with some books. So some of these products you put out, they might sell really well during that, you know, that season or that time sensitive event, but they will continue sell, continue to sell later on throughout the year. Another example is um, mental health awareness month is coming up in May. So you might be thinking about doing a mental health coloring book with some inspiring quotes or whatever. So you might have an uptick in sales during May because there's more demand, but that type of product can also sell the rest of the year. So I try to look for things like that as well with these awareness months and awareness weeks as well. I don't usually mess with the days. I feel like that's just too specific. So don't sleep on these smaller events. They can also turn into evergreen sales. Now, let me share why I don't ever do anything under my name and why I don't think it's a good idea. I think a lot of people think all traffic is good traffic. It's not. It's absolutely not good traffic. Because let's just say, for example, I put all my books and I list them in my description. I'm like, hey, y'all, go check out my books. 99.99% of people, if not 100%, that watch these make money online videos, you're not looking to buy random products and coloring books and t-shirts. You're trying to make money. A lot of people don't have money. That's why they're watching us. So imagine I was like, okay, here's my panda coloring book. First problem, and I noticed this on a previous video, I'm paying ads for some of my books, or at least I was, or I still am, but I just turned my bids way down. Can you imagine people not paying attention and going on here and clicking my books, clicking my ads and costing me money without realizing it? I had a lady on my one of my previous videos ask me why I said I wasn't clicking the sponsored links. Because these clicks cost people money. Somebody's paying five cents, 10 cents, 15, 20, 30 cents for these books when somebody clicks. So I don't want people clicking my books or my ads without even realizing it and hurting my click through rate. And even if I'm not running ads, let's look at some of these non or these, these organic rankings. Let's say I said, here's my book here. And you guys, everybody's like, oh, okay, let me see what keyword she's using. And you're going on Amazon. I know how y'all do. You go on Amazon, you say, okay, Panda coloring book. Oh, she's ranking number seven. Let me click. Okay, so now all these people are clicking on my book using these same keywords, but no one's ever buying. That could actually hurt the book and its rankings over time if you learn how algorithms work. I want customers looking at my book, not people that watch my YouTube channel, because that could actually hurt it, hurt the books indirectly. And I prefer to keep it like that, not to mention copycats. Now let's talk about what's concerning me about my future with KDP. Before I started doing KDP, I would see so many people on Facebook and Twitter and everyone was talking about how, oh, I'm done with print on demand. KDP is so much more fun. I love KDP. Oh, it's so fun. Is it? I, I, just, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's so much fun. No. And one thing I know about myself is if I'm not enjoying something, I'm not going to stick with it because it's not just about, I know people think, oh, if I just make the money, I'll enjoy it. I can tell you that's not true. <laughs> that's not the case. I think I was challenged, you know, by every, because if you say, oh, you can't do something, I'm going to try to do it. I'm one of those people, right? It's too saturated. Well, let me see what I can do, you know, but I have to be honest. I actually enjoy doing the t-shirt designs way more than I enjoy creating the books. Something about the books, it's kind of tedious, you know, even though I have my process down, it was fast, but the margins and the formatting, whereas with t-shirts, man, I can open up Illustrator or Photoshop and I can have 10 designs done in 30 minutes, you know, and I, I just, I enjoy the process more. I could go to Starbucks on any given day, you guys, and literally sit there all day and do t-shirt designs. I don't find myself looking forward to grabbing my laptop and going to Starbucks and working on books. I really don't. I mean, I'm, I'm happy I was able to make this work and make a little money here. And I've got some books now out here that have some good reviews that'll probably do really well now for Q4 because I, I missed Q4, right? I got started right after Q4. So it's great that I'll have some books, but I honestly, I don't know. And even with all the problems that we're having with print on demand right now, and particularly MBA, I still enjoy it. And I feel like 
is taboo to say that these days, because especially if you're a creator, oh, you're just saying that I don't have any MBA courses out. I haven't since 2019 because it started getting more challenging. I don't plan on doing any, in, any more MBA courses at all. Um, but I do enjoy it. And I know that that's kind of a taboo thing to say. I can't say the same thing about KDP. I, I, I really can't. And maybe it's because I need to start doing topics that are more near and dear to me. Although with t-shirts, I don't. I don't always do topics that are near and dear to me, but I do have an idea for a book on something that I've personally struggled with. So maybe if I start doing content that I'm more experienced with, that might help. But honestly, y'all, I don't know. We'll see. But for those of y'all that love it, good for you. I can't say that it's so much fun. No, I prefer the t-shirt designs by far. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'll talk to you in the next video.